There are times when you're working with shapes where you want to separate it into two different elements. And that's what we're going to have a look at here. You'll notice I've got a couple of layers. I have my knife layer and my scissors layer. Now, if you want to follow along, you can open up scissors, knife, skull, start. And we're going to start with the knife layer. So select that. And you'll notice I've drawn this skull using primitive shapes. And this shape in the background, the skull shape, I've created by combining a rounded rectangle and a circle using the Shape Builder tool. But I want to actually separate it into elements so that we have, like this skull template, we have the top half of the skull. You can see that outline there denoting the top jaw. And then the bottom part of the skull, the bottom jaw. So we want to do the same here. So I somehow want to cut it here. Now, there are a few tools that you can use for removing parts of layers. We'll look at the eraser tool in another movie. For this one, we want to look at the scissors tool and the knife tool. So we're going to start with the knife. And you'll notice that my indicator changes so that I have a little black arrow and the indication of a knife. Now, just be aware that the control point is the black arrow. So if I want to cut here, then I would start by clicking and dragging with the arrow. Now I can cut here and you'll notice it creates a little cut. Notice that I click and drag to cut with the knife tool. Now if you're using a mouse it can be quite tricky so you probably want to use something like a graphics tablet and if you're unsure exactly where to start cutting from you can actually cut from outside the shape and sometimes that's a nice way to give you a kind of lead in to your cut and then you can click and drag to create the shape that you want to cut. And there we go, I've created my first cut. If you're not happy with it, just do a couple of practices. You might want it slightly more curved than that. So we're just going to practice until we get it exactly where we want it. So once I'm happy with it, I can then select the selection tool by hitting V. Now notice both the shapes are selected, but if I hold down the shift key and click, you'll notice we have the top half selected. I'm going to select the bottom half by clicking on that, and then I'm just going to move it down and using shift and the arrow keys to move it into place. Now you'll notice it's created two closed paths. So each side of the path has a stroke around it, which tells me that the path is indeed closed. Now, what we're going to do now is have a look at the scissors tool. And on this layer, I have this bone layer, and I'm also going to stroke that so you can see an outline. So I'm going to bring my stroke swatch to the front and choose black in my color palette to stroke that. So we're going to go over to the toolbar and select the scissors tool. Now this works slightly different from the knife tool. You don't click and drag it. If you click and drag it, you get an error message coming up and it will tell you that you're actually supposed to click on a segment or an anchor point of a path. So if I click here, it creates a new point. And it looks as if it's just creating a new point, but you'll see in a second, once I click again and create a second point, that actually it's divided the path. And you can see now, if you have a look at this path, only this side of the bone is highlighted. This side of the bone, we can't see the path. Okay, so we'll go to our selection tool to select it, and you'll notice only half of the path is selected. Now let's have a look in our layer panel just to see what's happening there. And you'll notice that we still have a group. So although this is only selected, this part of the bone is in the same group. So if I was to click it with the selection tool, I'm still going to select the entire shape. And this can be a bit confusing. You think you've separated the two elements, but they're still both selected. So what we need to do is ungroup it. So if you watch the layer panel, when I go to object ungroup, that's going to change to a compound path as well. So we're going to go to object compound path, release, and we now have two separate paths. So that's a step that I tend to go through when I'm working with the scissors tool. So if I select one of the elements and I can use the target in my layers panel to do so, I can hold down shift and now move the bone apart and make the bone longer. Now, you may think, why didn't you just use the scale tool to make it longer? Well, that would distort these ends of the bones. And there are lots of different ways of doing this, but this is a way that I would choose to actually separate the ends of the bones. And in the next movie, we'll have a look at how we can create the centre of the bone again.